Hi guys, and uh, welcome to episode 5 of season 2 of My Road to Glory. I'm Vic, and with Juro out injured, we've got Upson holding the 4 in defence. And we'll get into a game. Uh, starting to take shape now, I'll get everyone in when the chemistry's a little bit better. Uh, like I say, if I rock up with 80 attacking on this screen here, um, it'll, people won't want to play me, they'll back out. So uh, we'll just keep it as it is. We'll keep one striker, a couple of midfielders, a couple of defenders. For now, to keep it all balanced, keep us level with everyone else. We get drawn against this side. Looks like he's trying to build an Arsenal team. Um, Shamak, although he's dreadful in real life, he's not actually that bad in uh, in FIFA. He's got a bit of pace and he's got a good header. Um, and we go 1-0 down, actually, to the pace of Park, who is a player I rate in real life, actually. I think he's a good player. Um, we knock one round the goalie here with Balotelli. He gets his first of the game. Uh, not his last of the game, as you'll see. Um, yeah, so both Park and Chamak are actually not too bad. Park's good. At, he needs a shot for Arsenal, in my opinion. As Balotelli gets through again and blazes one into the bottom corner. Um, we will play this game and then make a little sign in at the end of this episode. Uh, just got to keep building, keep strengthening. I've got a couple of key players I'm wanting to get. As Balotelli gets through and completes his hat trick after half an hour. Uh, quite like that celebration, it's quite Balotelli esque. Uh, the little through the legs thing there is the um, RB button, where the ball's coming into you. He lets it through his legs. An absolute screamer from Balotelli. Gets him four goals in one half. Uh, top bin, there's that shot power again that we've been talking about with Balotelli. Not just the four star skills, not just the strength, but he's got that rocket in his boots as well. And after a good start, this guy struggling a bit, to be honest. Uh, Balotelli gets up for another one. Complete striker in fee for this guy. Headers, feet, skills. It's a bit of pace on him as well. Especially against the sort of defences we're playing at the moment. So, cannot complain at all. Um, that's the sort of area you want to cross into, guys. Just sort of just outside the six-yard box. It makes it tricky um, for the goalies to decide whether to come or not. That's your aim. That's my aim, anyway. As Bellatelli scores from just inside the half. Uh, the little... Uh, right stick nudge there to give him a bit of space to get the power for that. Uh, the goalie, I think, had come out a little bit because he could see I was through. Uh, Balotelli showing his quick feet. I think that's his seventh of the game so far. Uh, yeah, loving that long shot. I like my long shots. Uh, the midfielders I'm getting this season are long shot inspired. They have long shot trait. Uh, so you'll see them soon, a couple more episodes. Uh, lovely little rainbow flick over the goalie to complete an eight-goal route for Balotelli and takes us to 8-1. Uh, just missed it on the replay there, but the goalie had come storming out because it came from a shot. A shot was blocked, it went to that side of the box. Balotelli, lovely rainbow flick. Uh, if anyone's got more than eight goals in a game of Balotelli, let me know in the comments. Um, that's the most I've scored with one player in a game, I think. Uh, certainly in the RTG. And so we have picked up this defender just for cover. Uh, he's friends with the fellow we already had from the pack. Uh, so we stuck him in. Uh, Juro's back from injury as well. So our chemistry's on the up a little bit. A couple of people have asked why I haven't got a manager yet. Uh, the reason for that is chemistry is made up of 75% player chemistry and 25% manager chemistry. Um, so it would really be papering over the cracks if I got a manager at this stage, chemistry-wise. Um, it's not as important as player chemistry, is the point I'm making. We get drawn against this silver, I think it's Dutch league side. Um, players of note, the Canu defender, the Brazilian silver defender at the back there, he's... 
worth about 20k, I think. Something along those lines. He's quick. Um, and yeah, was, he's got a good team, this guy's good team. It's original as well, which we like to see. Um, I think he's picked up on the fact that they have some really good defenders and a couple of pacey wingers in that division, in the silver groups. And so we fall behind, but get back into it as well in this game. Uh, yeah, we're always going to struggle against, at the moment, where we've got a half-built team against the guys that have built full teams. Um, there's some cracking silver players. There's some silver players that are better than gold players. And, and that is what this is all about with these silver teams. Uh, cracking little goal from Ju Yoon Ha. Uh, he's just one of the bronze ones. I think I've got three bronze set forwards in the starter pack. So just sort of rotating them a little bit. Uh, until we can get um, a little man up front, uh, be one of the good finishers, our quick feeted players to partner alongside Balotelli. Uh, the game finished a draw, and the guy wanted to end the match as a draw, which is fair enough. Um, I'll show you the stats, got 600 coins for that. Uh, we had a few more shots and a bit more possession, but it was a close game, and like I say, he had a good team. Um, so everything's going well, we've got 8,000 coins at the moment, 8 wins, and the loss was actually, um, the loss was down to uh, um, the EA kicking us off. So we've picked up Bassong, third centre back. Um, my point here guys with this is speed is over power. Speed is more important than power in your centre backs this year, in my opinion. Uh, it helps if they've got both, but Bassong, you wouldn't think of buying, but he's actually awesome this in FIFA 12 this year and very cheap. Cheers guys!